Okay, so we're doing a couple of things in Pro Tools 11 that's making this kind of performance possible. If I show you my playback engine, you can see I'm running HD native Thunderbolt, so all this processing is being done by the computer. But I'm running a very low buffer, actually 64 samples in this case. Um, and that's possible because we now have two separate buffers. So this now sets my, in the old days we had to um, compromise between a, a buffer that would play back all those plugins and one that was low enough for us to track through and without too much latency. Now what I can do is I can set a very low buffer for my tracking, for my record channels, for input channels, for aux inputs, anything that's a live real-time signal coming through will run this very low buffer. But all of my plugins, all my instruments etc, they're going to be playing back using a fixed much larger buffer of over a thousand samples. So that's how we can have tracks that are low latency on record but also be playing back a very big session. Uh, the other thing that we're doing, if I show you the system usage window, so now you can see we don't have all those complicated settings for our CPU usage now, it's all handled dynamically. You can see all of my CPU cores in my MacBook Pro um, and you'll see that just idling we're about 25% with that fairly low buffer.